Welcome back to Sigbert Model Farms. My name is Will, and today we're going to be going over what I got at the St. Louis Farm Toy Show. And I know it was a while back, I just never made a video on it, but it's better late than never. First up here we have this John Deere 7720 Turbo, old combine. Um, this thing is built real nice. It's all metal around. Um, decals are real nice. They're all nice and shiny. Um, you can see in the glass there and stuff here's the front view yeah but this was a real nice combine i i went in knowing that i was gonna want to try to get one of these um but this came in a set with a john deere 4955 a john deere 500 um grain cart and then a six row corn head and a, i'm assume 15 foot bean head but this thing is built real nice. It's built like a tank. It's all metal around. There are some plastic parts like right there, the auger. But I like the tires on it and stuff. I like the duels on it too. The duels make it look real nice too. And honestly, it looks pretty realistic too in my mind. I've seen one of these in real life. We don't run one, but the auger comes out. It's a little stiff, but it comes out these do not spin back here um but it has the guard over it the guard is a little bit wonky though um it has a ladder on it yeah but i really like the way this looks next we have the john deere 4955 um i didn't really get this set for the tractor but it's, it's still a pretty nice tractor from the box didn't look as nice but once you get it out, it looks pretty nice. Um, this is also metal. Um, it has fenders on the tire, which I think look pretty nice. Um, okay, interior. It's not the best, not the worst. Got some extra steps right there. Back's pretty simple. But, yeah, it's a pretty sturdy tractor. and I'm not sure if it's going to be on the grain cart, but it'll sure be on display. Next, we have this John Deere 500 grain cart. Um, I really wanted it for the grain cart too, this set. It's a metal grain cart, built just all around nice. Um, plastic, um, auger on it, but it's an old time auger, which I really like. Just folds up forward right here. Yeah, but, um, tires are real nice too. Some diamond tread tires on there. Here's the other side. Yeah, I really like this grain cart. It's got all... This whole set has all nice decals around, but it's a pretty nice set. These are the headers for the combine. We have a six row John Deere header. Oh, it does have a decal there. It's a 643 six row John Deere header, corn header. And then here we have a 216 bean head. I assume this is a 15 foot, it's supposed to be like 15 foot. This spins other. This spins, and other than that, the, those are the headers right there. Here's the corn header on the combine. It looks real nice, just enough width to cover the tires right there, and snaps on pretty nice, and I think it looks real nice. Next, the bean head on there looks pretty good, and one thing about this combine that I did notice, um, right here where the header feeds it into the combine, it is real wide, so you won't fit a lot of the other stuff or like other um, headers that you'd have for other combines. You might be able to fit some big ones, but this kind of feels like a wonky size right there. On to the next um, tractor, we have this um, White Field Boss 2 um, 210. Well, I'm not sure what model that is. It's a 2110 White Field Boss. Um, I really like this tractor. This is a spec cast, so you already know it's going to be realistic. Got pretty good front end up there. You got three-point hitch in the back. These do come off real easily. Um, you know that from experience. Got your lights up here and right there. Muffler looks nice, too. And the interior, it's a pretty good interior. Yeah, but the weights look good. Everything about this tractor looks good. And I just like the white fuel boss and... It's just a real good tractor. Here we got a international, Case International um, 
grinder, feed grinder. But I wanted this because my farm's gonna be running cattle, so yeah, when we we want to make our own feed, so we I bought this and auger comes out here, it goes it goes up and down. These break real easily though, and this one folds out right there. And they make a John Deere version of this too, but this one's just um, has better decals, and I think it looks better too. Last but not least, we have a grain dryer here, and I was excited to get one of these just to make the farm even more realistic, but these are pretty cheap at like six bucks, but I think it looks real nice. It also fits on the grain bin real good too. It's got the curve already in there, and I'll build a stand for it probably so it's elevated because ours is on our grain bin. It's on just a concrete pad, so... Might 3D print a concrete pad for it and just have it sit right there so it looks real nice in the green bin too. Well that'll wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions but I might be doing a um, beginning of 2023 entire collection. I mean I know it's March already but like I said in the um, beginning of the video, better late than never. So I'm that I'm I'm thinking about doing that but thank you guys for watching have a good day